Hey, it's Chris. Chevy invited me out to check out their brand new electric SUV, the Blazer EV. And as a technology enthusiast, I want to share a few of my initial impressions. So here's a quick list of some of the cool tech features I'm most interested in. And then we're going to get to the big stuff that I'm really interested in. Right off the bat, the lights are some of the best tech on this car. There's lots of animations, both on the front and the back. And they're not just for show. They actually let you know your charging status. Who's going to complain about that? Nobody. Just looks cool. One of my other favorite features is the hands-free start option, which is something that my brand new, within the last year, luxury electric car doesn't have. So you just get in, you tap the brake, and just like that, you're ready to roll. I really like that you can get wireless phone charging here and wireless CarPlay and or Android Auto. Because both options, both wireless charging and wireless CarPlay, used to be reserved for just the luxury segment, and yet here they are. And I gotta tell you, after using wireless CarPlay, I could never, would never want to go back. So good. I definitely thought that the huge 17-inch display here, which has some great animations, was very cool. So tech enthusiasts like a lot of digital information and buttons at their disposal, and you're definitely going to find that here. There's no miniature display. And it's also cool that there's a heads-up display option. Again, something that used to be reserved for just the luxury segment. I love having a heads-up display. So cool to see all the information, like your speed, directions, etc., just overlaid over the road, kind of like augmented reality. But then there's also GM's Super Cruise, which is the hands-free driving, which, while I haven't tried it out, I've heard good things about and I gotta tell you, here's another thing that even my brand new within the last year luxury EV does not have. It does have really nice auto assist type of driving, but not completely hands-free. Super Cruise, it's the real deal. All right, let's talk about some of the bigger, even more meaningful tech features. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is the range. And you're gonna get sick of me saying this again, but that is better <laughs> than my brand new within the last year electric luxury car. So look, when it comes to range, here's the thing. This tech is new and it's not gonna be long, no matter what you buy right now, before the mileage gets surpassed by something else that's coming along down the pipeline. That said, I can tell you, anything over 200 miles of range is great for getting around town, so you got some extra to play around with here. I've got about 220 miles of range, and when I bought my EV, I knew that this was never gonna be a going on a huge trip across the country vehicle. This was always gonna be something just to get me around town, to run errands, so I guess plan accordingly, but for now, I would say, while this isn't what you would get from an ICE car, right, internal combustion, it's also really not that disappointing unless you're somebody who really, really needs to go on a super long range trip. And even then, it's gonna be doable, but there's gonna be some workarounds. By the way, just for comparison, a Tesla Model Y is gonna get up to about 330 miles of range on the top end there. Now, as you would expect, the Blazer EV does have multiple trim options to choose from. Personally, I would be torn between the RS, which is gonna give you the most range possible, and the SS, which is gonna give you the most speed possible. Which leads me to the next big topic on my list here, and that is speed. So if you know anything about SUVs and cars, SUVs are heavier, especially when they have lots of batteries lining the bottom, like this Blazer EV. So the fact that this thing can go zero to 60 in under four seconds with the available trim packages is pretty awesome. Now, I haven't actually driven this thing. I got to check out the concept car, right? Walk around, get some photos, sit in it, get the feel for it. But I can tell you from my own electric vehicle, wow, it is so fun to get that instant torque feeling. So you look at the design of this thing, and aside from the badging, Blazer EV, and those animated lights, it's really hard to tell, just from a glance, that this is an EV. I just know from my own experience with an EV that doesn't really look like an EV, that you can have some fun with this thing right off the line at the stoplight when people aren't expecting it, right? Especially when you're right next to a, a traditional sports car or something that thinks it's got you and they start edging a little bit further ahead and you're like, nope. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Plus, if you just need to pass somebody on the highway or in order to make a turn or something, it allows you to be more nimble out on the road. Now, not every car, much less electric vehicle, has a launch mode. This thing has a WOW mode, which stands for wide open watts, and that on the SS trim is what's gonna give you that extra oomph, let you go as fast as possible. And again, for me, I don't think that that's something I'd wanna skip. If I'm getting this thing, I'm getting the SS with the WOW. One thing I love that GM's including here is Altify. That's their software platform, and basically it allows for software updates and new apps and personalization to hit and just continue to keep your car updated over time, which is actually a really big deal because if you think about it, a car is basically just a rolling computer these days. 
And it's really stupid when manufacturers release something and then for the next three model years, they never update the software, which by the way, a lot of manufacturers are still doing, which I can't believe. So Altify is here to make sure that you stay up to date. I mean, can you imagine using a, a phone or a laptop or a tablet, you know, four years down the line that never got an extra software update? Imagine how that thing will be running, you know? And plus, as we know from Tesla, software updates can bring a whole new world of experiences to the car that you already own and bought you know, a couple of years ago. So as a tech enthusiast, what do I think of the Blazer EV? Is it something that if you're a tech enthusiast, you might wanna check into as well? I would say there's a lot of tech here, even though it doesn't necessarily look really futuristic, barring like a few details like the lights, uh, to keep you occupied and interested, stuff you might wanna show off to your friends. And I'll repeat for the hundredth time in this video, there's a lot of tech here that you're not even gonna find on some luxury segment vehicles, which is pretty cool. Now, granted, you can spend like 66,000 on the top trim here for the Blazer EV, so not exactly cheap. You would expect it to have some extras, but extras are available nonetheless. And yeah, that would lead me to say, if you're looking for an SUV that's electric, absolutely put that Blazer EV on your short list. All right, thanks for hanging out. Hey, there's a podcast if you haven't signed up yet or the newsletter, those are linked up down below. Why would you do that? The podcast is sort of like behind the scenes here at Daily Tech, talk about how I'm using Apple and tech in my actual life, how I'm running the business. Also, the newsletter is gonna put app and accessory discovery on autopilot for you. It's just gonna show up in your inbox every Friday. You don't have to do any work, you just, open that thing and you're delighted by all the great things that you just discovered. <laughs> all right, those are linked up in the description and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.